Hey, what's going on? Ryan here with Intersection Records, and we're doing another album review today by legendary space rockers, Hawkwind. I think it's their 36th album. They've had so many albums since 1969. It's kind of amazing. Uh, Dave Brock is still in the band, still singing vocals, still playing guitar, still playing synths. What is space rock? You know, some of these songs are long and elaborate songs. They're using an audio generator with effects pedals to make an oscillating sound. There's lots of guitars, or there's meandering, trancey synths. Um, some of these songs are just interludes to the next song. And you get this sweeping sensation and it's really great driving music. It's it, what I like about a band like Hawkwind is you don't have to sit there and listen to every single word. It's not about the lyrics necessarily, but there are the lyrics dripped in. Again, 36 albums. They had some mid 70s success with a bass player named Lemmy uh, Kilmeister uh, who left to form Motorhead. Um, this band's been around, like I said, since 1969 and still playing shows and, and, and doing albums. Well, let's go through this thing. This album's called Stories from Time and Space. Maybe not the greatest album cover, right? Opens up with a song called Our Lives Can't Last Forever. Pretty cool song, but really the song, the album that gets going with the next song, The Starship, One Love, One Life. Just again, that oscillating soundscapes. You feel like you're leaving the ground at, at moments, from galaxy to galaxy, space rocking with cool guitars and synths. The next song, What Are We Going To Do While We're Here? You know, again, it's really cool. This, there's a cool saxophone player, uh, uh, saxophone solo. And by the way, Richard Chadwick is still on drums from 1988 when he joined the band. Really nice saxophone in the third song. Trancy and driving really takes off into a different galaxy at the three minute and 30 second mark. Uh, nice rocking song, The Tracker, comes next. Then kind of a little one minute and 40 second patchwork to the next song called The Eternal Light. It's, it's ambient. Really great Dave Brock guitar solo on Till I Follow You, which comes next. Again, this isn't something you have to sit there and ponder. This is a great get out on the highway, get out on a weekend drive and have it go on, just take you somewhere. Uh, Underwater City is next, acoustic. Nice change of pace, because you're kind of getting that rock thing. Nice acoustic interlude. A Night Sky, another transitional piece. Now we have some orchestra, probably some Mellotron. Then the title track, Travelers of Space and Time. Just a victim of space and time. 727, maybe not my favorite song. Uh, Regenerator, though, is a just dirgy, mysterious, five-minute kind of epic. Uh, the Black Sea, Frozen in Time, and then the great Stargazers to finish this album off. You know, I, I don't know that this is a great album. I give it a 3.75 out of 5, but it's really cool. It You know, they, they keep putting albums out. I think they had one out last year, too. You know, they're not going anywhere. Check out my channel. We're not going anywhere either. We do album reviews every week. We do concert reviews. We rank, rank albums. We talk about a little bit of jazz. I have a Miles Davis show on Monday nights. Check out the channel. Peace out. See you.